Gav, another week without a game due to the inclement weather. Um, how frustrating has that been and how keen are you to get back on the pitch and get some game time now? Yeah, listen, when you win a game 5-0 and it's your first time having that experience of going into coaching, management type side of it, massive frustration. Um, really fancy ourselves in both games, but look, that's football. Regroup, um, massive game this Saturday and hopefully positive performance will lead to a positive result. And how much of a challenge might it be to try and recoup some of that momentum from that Grimsby game having had so, so long off heading into Saturday? Yeah, I think we'll be fine. Um, group's really, really, really in a good spirit. Today was a fantastic day again, so I'm positive. Uh, we face a uh, Gillingham side who, despite their league position, have had two good results in the last two games. Clean sheet as well. What sort of test are you expecting on Saturday? Listen, they, they, their first contact, second contacts, um, different style to us, but listen, there's, there's, a, there's a lot of different styles in football, so it'll be tough for us to play off Hawkins. Um, yeah, listen, uh, they've had some good investment come in, new owners, so they've been able to sign Nichols, which is a fantastic signing for them. I'm sure they're going to sign some more players from now to the end of the window, um, but positive with three points. Um, they don't concede a, a great deal of goals. They don't score a huge amount either. Does that make preparing for the game slightly more tricky when it comes to the game plan? No, not really. We'll implement our style on them. We're not going to listen. We know, we know what their strengths and their weaknesses are, so we'll we'll try and exploit the weaknesses again, definitely. And you mentioned there they have brought in a few new players during January, some attacking options. Um, is this something you've also had to factor into your preparations as well? Because the likes of Hawkins, Nichols, they they will pose a threat. Yeah, listen. When you when you can sign them. Um, you can play a right few quid for two strikers. This is it's a good thing to have, but they've got to come here. It'll be a really tough game for them. They know that. Um, I'm sure they'll show us a lot of respect, and they're in for a tough afternoon. I think. Obviously, we last met them. I think it was back in September. A frustrating result in the end. They had a player sent off early, but we couldn't break them down. Do you do you take too much from that game heading into Saturday? No, we <clears throat> listen in that game. We were lethargic, slow tempo, ball speed was not good at all. Um, they probably could have won the game. To be fair, they hit us on the counter a few times. We we didn't lock the game out. It'll be a different team on Saturday, three o'clock. And with the January transfer window now open, how hard is it when you are preparing a side for for a fixture? Because obviously players are coming in at clubs, players are going out. Does that sort of make preparation slightly more difficult when you're looking at previous results? Because squads are changing all the time at the moment. No, it is what it is. Like ourselves, listen, players will leave, players will come in. It's it's just about the environment they create. So someone leaves, someone comes in, they've got to buy into that. Otherwise, it's a struggle from the start. So once you get that buying factor, it's fine. They can seamlessly fit into it. We've mentioned it before, a few players now coming back from injury. You've got a, a pretty healthy squad to choose from. Uh, competition for places must be pretty good at the moment and a bit of a headache for yourself. Yeah, headache, but a good headache. Um, <clears throat> Really, really, really excited to see the boys play this Saturday. Um, the vibes they're giving off are positive, and I think it's going to be a really, really good for the fans to come and watch it. Um, young Abu Kanu as well, I heard about him. He, he obviously brought him on against Grimsby, and he, he made a real impact when he came on. He's been training with the side this week. Uh, what, what do you see in him that's, that's, that's sort of led to you giving him a, an opportunity? Listen, the most hardest thing in football to do is score goals, and he does it, so he's going to get his chance at this club. Um, I'd imagine that'd be interesting, Abu from clubs higher up, higher up the tree than us. So, yeah, he, listen, he, he'll be involved at the weekend. Looking forward to it. If if he gets his chance, I'm sure he'll take it. And just finally, we currently say currently lie sixth in the table of win, and other results going our way could see us up to fifth. Is, is the league table something you you look at at the moment as part of your preparations? No, listen, you you got to take it one game at a time, and then the rest to look after itself. If your performances are good. And to a standard, you'll get to where you're meant to get to. If you're reliant on a bit of luck and that, that's when you'll not get there in the end.